I would love to see Leafy come back and- Would you care about just hating on someone? Like, he's the wizard of being an asshole. So it's 2020, <laughs> and people are still trying to expose Keemstar, I guess. Which, I mean, I can respect. Like, I had my saga with Keemstar. I do think that my saga with Keemstar was the best, and I would cite the memes that was created around that time as proof. But hey, that's just me. Why am I still getting hate? Leafy fucking took clips completely out of context. Trolling clips where I'm saying I hate my fans, which is part of a fucking act. Just to start, I don't care who the good or the bad guy is or who won and lost whatsoever. Do you care about the fucking truth? Anyways, though, I just wanted to make a video laughing about the amount of self-destruction in this YouTube drama battle or whatever you want to call it and the actual implications of it because the amount of irony makes it it's almost impossible not to find it just a little bit funny if anyone didn't know because of this drama going down g fuel which was one of keem's main sponsors actually cut one of their contracts with him and apparently old spice cut their deal with h3h3 as well that yes old spice really did drop them so just like how keemstar lost his g fuel sponsorship many haters went after ethan and they went after his sponsors and it ended up working i mean old spice literally dropped ethan now which is very very scary stuff and Keemstar responded saying, told you guys not to do this. Please do not go after any of h 3s sponsors. I do not want this shit from our community. Yes, I know there's an old drama talking about sore sponsors. That's the video that Comic Cop showed. But that was five years ago before there was even a commentary community. Don't do this. I'm not going to sit here and try to pinpoint it on anyone. But I will say this. The fact that sponsors actually got involved, and especially the fact that G Fuel actually canceled Keemstar. Meanwhile, you got all these like up and coming YouTubers trying to decide who won the battle is actually fun fucking hilarious. If you guys actually want to know who won the battle, it's people that already made money on this website. Because if there was one thing that this drama actually did prove, it's that edgy content is not a viable place to be making money, and also isn't suited for anything bigger than just a couple of YouTube channels shit talking. Whether or not there's a winner in this stupid fucking drama, the loser is already decided, and it's channels that make money through sponsorships that make edgy content. Like this has to be the biggest case of actual self-destruction. I've ever seen on YouTube and I'm not saying that from like a like drama perspective I'm saying that from like below the table perspective in the sense of H3H3 lost sponsorship deals because of this Keemstar lost sponsorship deals because of this but it's not even that it's the fact that this is setting a standard that if you make content that's edgy on YouTube or not even that if you ever made content that was edgy on YouTube you now not only have a way less chance of getting a sponsorship but as this thing transpires you're gonna be left with a constant risk of losing that deal and I don't care how much one clowns on the other one or the other one makes great points a lot of the internet loki has already catched on to this shit proof is the fact that there's already tons of groups of people doing this contacting sponsors for youtubers that i mean didn't even have anything to fucking do with this and getting their deals removed too and the best part about that is in the next few months when everyone starts trying to like create this movement that hey we don't do that shit hey we love our sponsors don't go after them the people that are doing it are going to keep doing it and they're going to make it worse because now these people in defense mode are going to fuel them and they're going to keep doing it for months until this entire community is fucking rip and this video is 100 not helping it's actually making things worse but the amount of self-destruction in this little like feud is hilarious and these youtubers making it out like there's a side to pick outside of pinning it on someone have not only missed the joke entirely but don't understand that the joke's on them. You all thought this was dry? Just you wait. We're going into a nuclear fucking winter. Here's the moral of the story. When you got that fresh cow and she has that fresh mommy milk, you better be milking the fuck out of it. Like I did. <laughs> You have to adapt and overcome the fact that like